FME has a few different reader writers to handle PostgreSQL data. The PostgreSQL reader writer handles attribute only tables. The PostGIS reader writer handles geometric or geographic data. PostGIS raster is the newest addition. PostGIS 2.0 has added support for storing and analyzing raster data, which can be handled using FME's PostGIS raster reader writer. Let's work through the process of loading and retrieving a PostGIS raster dataset. We'll first add a PostGIS raster writer by entering the database connection information in the parameters. Then we'll add a new feature type, which will become a table in the database. We'll call this one Elevation, because we're going to load a digital elevation model from the Department of Natural Resources Canada. The PostGIS writer has a few parameters to note. The maximum raster size puts a cap on the size of the raster we can load into the database. This is because PostGIS stores the whole raster as one blob, so writing a very large data set might not be desirable. If we attempt to exceed this size, the writer will warn us and fail. We can easily increase this size in order to accommodate larger rasters. The constraints are applied to rasters that will be written to this table in the future. So first the raster will be written to a table, and then these constraints will be set. For example, you can constrain them to require the same spacing or block size. The overview parameters allow you to mark a column as being an overview of another existing column. Now we'll add a reader for the input dataset. and connect it to the writer and run it. The raster was successfully loaded into our database. Now let's read it back. On the reader, we set up a database connection like normal. and browse to our table. Far less feature type properties exist on the reader side. The format parameters include support for arbitrary where clauses and select statements. We'll run the workspace. and our raster was successfully retrieved from the database. Note that you can use the PostGIS raster reader through the SQL Creator and SQL Executor transformers. Just drop in the transformer, enter your database credentials in the same manner, and form your SQL statement. This will allow you to perform more complex PostGIS queries.